I'm going to cover five things. If you're a brand new CrossFitter, you need to be doing, or even if you've been doing CrossFit for multiple years, these are the five things you should still be doing. The first thing is creatine and fasting salts. Creatine is good for the body. It's been studied over 50 years. It helps with the muscle growth. And believe it or not, it's also good for the cognitive. It's good for the brain. So creatine is period, just good for you. You don't have to load up front, like loading phases, like 20 grams a day. You can just start doing five grams a day and that's it. I literally take creatine every single day. And the other one I said, it was fasting salts. Fasting salts are good for the, as far as your hydration, it helps hydrate the cells. Number two is have some gym equipment. So you need a jump rope. You need maybe an extra pair of uh, lifters. You need some tape if you're going to be doing snatches and things like that. Uh, a weight belt. So you need to have these accessories in your gym bag with you so you're always ready. Uh, if you're traveling, you're definitely going to need them because there's a lot of gyms that have nothing, believe it or not. You'll walk in, there's no jump rope, there's no... But having all your equipment with you makes it... It just makes it more to where you're more successful as a CrossFitter because these are the things you're going to need. Number three is your sleep, Carcadian. You need to go to bed and you need to get up at the same time, whether it's Monday, whether it's Saturday. It does not matter. There's so much research on this. Uh, so if you go to bed at 9 o'clock at night on the weekdays, then you need to be going to bed at 9 o'clock on the weekends. And so if you go to bed at 9, you get up at 5, that's 8 hours. You need to be doing that all the time. Uh, it's really, really good for the body. It's extremely healthy. It, it touches on everything you do, by the way. If you don't get enough sleep, you're just going to, it's going to suck for in your workouts. It's going to suck just during the day doing anything, whether you're reading a book or at work. It doesn't matter. you got to have your sleep. Sleep's number one, and then after that would be the nutrition. But you definitely need to keep your sleep patterns on, on track. Uh, this app here I'm showing, this is an app I use. Uh, it's good. It tells you exactly how much deep sleep you got, how much REM, how much you're awake. Uh, you start tracking your sleep, you got to get an idea of how your sleep patterns are. And if you are getting good sleep, you might not even, you might not even be aware that you're getting bad sleep. So uh, sleep is going to be number three. Number four is going to be do not overdo it. I know when I first got into CrossFit, I was doing two a days right off the bat. I was working out probably three, four days in a row. Uh, you know, your body can only take so much. I think the normal is three on one off or two on one off. So don't overdo it. Uh, most people overdo it, especially in the beginning, because they don't know uh, where they're at physically. And CrossFit is very demanding. It's not like bodybuilding. Bodybuilding, I'm not picking on it, but it's much easier because you're not killing yourself on the lungs. So when you get into CrossFit, you don't understand what you're getting into in the beginning. Uh, you know, with snatches and how complicated these movements are and the different weights. Even if you've come in over from bodybuilding, you don't know what a power snatch is or, or clean or you don't know how to handstand walk or handstand push-up or what have you. So I'm going to say take it easy when you first start working out and just kind of go with the flow and only try to do what you can do. So you'll see people next to you and they're throwing weights around, but they've probably been doing CrossFit for, you know, multiple years. So just remember that, okay? You only have to be better than you was the day before. So uh, just take it easy on yourself and then make sure you take your days off. At least one day a week, you need to be taken off. So if you do a three on one off, that's six on one off, technically, if you think about it. Okay, the last one, number five, I'm going to say is don't forget about bodybuilding. So when I left bodybuilding and went into CrossFit, I, I really was so sick and tired of it, to be honest with you. Bodybuilding was so boring to me. You know, it's like you walk in, you do the deadlift, the bench press, the back squat. And I was really, I'd walk into a gym and I would pretty much could be like almost depressed. And then when I got into CrossFit, I was like, wow, this is interesting because you get to learn new things all the time. But then I've been doing CrossFit for like six years now. So I'm like kind of <laughs> reversing it. But what I'm trying to tell you on this number five point is mix it. Okay. Do a hybrid training. All right. They've already proven with research that, you know, your numbers will increase when you first get into CrossFit, but eventually they'll plateau. So you want to come back over and then stay on both sides. So the grass is never green on either side. The grass is green on both, meaning do some bodybuilding during the week, maybe a couple of days, and then the rest of the training you can do on the CrossFit side. So what I do is I split it up. One day I'll do like chest and biceps and just, you know, and maybe a little bit of running and cardio when I'm done bodybuilding. And then the next day I'll do a Metcon, right? And then our couple of Metcons in a row for two days in a row. Then I'll go back to the bodybuilding side and I'll do maybe some uh, back like deadlifts, uh, you know, pull downs, uh, dumbbell, uh, 
dumbbell row, stuff like that. So I mix my bodybuilding and my CrossFit. I keep it mixed up. And also it's good because it keeps you more engaged, if you will, because then you're not getting burned out doing CrossFit all the time. And I'll be honest with you, you can't just do a hardcore Metcon every day. Not even the elites do that stuff. I mean, Ariel Lowen's my daughter-in-law. She's number three in the world. And she doesn't even do hardcore every day, to be honest with you. Nobody does, Okay. You can only go so hard, probably once a week, you can go really, truly hard with a big, hard workout with Metcons. And then after that, you know, the other Metcons are more, you know, you just kind of pace in it, if you will. So anyway, uh, those are my five for you. So I hope you got some value out of this. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys next time.